So right now I'm guessing you're thinking I'm nuts, basically, because I've made all these changes, I've got all these changes planned. What's he going to play on Scotland? Well, I didn't like how that yard was. I really haven't. I'm still not going to like it 100%, but that's going to make it so much better. A lot more switching, but I love the town how it is. You know, I've got it almost perfect. There's going to be a couple changes, but not many. In fact, only really like two. First main change is right here because we're going to have the warehouses there, so we're going to, have to pull the backdrop there. But what they're basically going to be is like flats, and I'll just pull the backdrop that way. It'll probably end up being a foam board. But we're going to keep the forest kind of to transition. But instead of having the backdrop painted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch whatever the little cafe I was going to have here. Blair Lines, Fred and Red's Cafe. Excuse me. And instead, I'll have a couple more DPM kits. But what I'll do is I'll just use the storefronts from them. And then use foam board as the um, kind of brick in between them. And just have those ranging along the street. Kind of cut there, pull it to there, cut it in there. And then we'll leave that street alone. Residential area and everything's going to stay the same. But I am going to instead put Blair, Blair Lines Fred and Red's Cafe right here. And then the parking lot for the station. Oh yeah, by the way, station scene. Station, got it done. Kind of did color that with Sharpie, but yeah. And I haven't really glued any of the scenery down, but we have some stuff, some cars back there. I think I'm gonna move this car to here because there's some stuff on the other side too, so I can get both pictures there. Put my observation car there and get another car for here. But um, basically, hypothetically, there's a parking lot here. I think I just make that like the downtown parking lot and people can walk to the cafe, walk to the shops and everything. There's some parking downtown too, but still. Um, and then down here, I still have to work on North Branch Co-op Cannery. The, what I was gonna do for the um, side pillars right here. Oh yeah, by the way, I had a request for this. Um, da -da 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 -da. All right, there you can see my awesome Atlas thing, but um, as you can see, the ISO just absolutely killed it. But what I'm going to do is, why the heck of it? I don't want to put graffiti on it. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some patches, like I've seen them downtown. You just basically paint over graffiti. I put a huge patch there. Um, side curtain, side angles too, both to hide the seam and all that jazz. But um, down here, I've made some changes. I've taken the King Furniture roof and I've done some stuff down here, added in this lot, pulling it out, and I still have enough left, I think, to do the lot for them. Well, that fertilizer dealer. I'm thinking of maybe having like a hopper dump right there, I'm not sure. Um, I need to add a guardhouse there. And finally, my plans for Dixie Quick Mix Cement and the scene right there. I was just gonna have this as kind of wilderness, but what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm, instead I'm gonna have a retention pond. But first off, I just need to paint that now, really. Okay, but I have a retention pond right there, and I'm standing around. Guardhouse right there, by the way. Like I mentioned. Okay, but retention pond there. And you've seen them around all over the place. A lot of places have them. And down here in the south, I, what I've seen around Aiken, etc., they really, in the summer, are just flat out. Look like the Everglades. Like, well, not the Everglades. It's a... Not the Everglades, it's kind of a poor simile, if you will, but they look kind of like a swamp mixed with a freshwater forest and all that, and basically it's just going to be perfect because I can have the, if you'll look again, I can have the spur set up a shot where the engine's switching out there, so just like the line of sight will be Um, forest around the retention pond, etc. And then the brick as the backdrop to it. And then I can have some, a little bit of a forest back there. But, um, anyways, that's what's going on in, in the world of the Aiken Northern. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my craziness. And until next time, when hopefully I get some more freight cars, maybe a new locomotive or two. By the way, I really need a new Insco Road Switcher. Um, and some freight cars, maybe. I don't know. 
But we'll see what ends up happening. Later, y'all.